All right, Niles, how do I look? Well, you really should switch to the waterproof. Oh, just <laughs> knock it off. Oh, ladies, gentlemen, please, come this way. Maxwell, congratulations. The widower is a hit. Now, do you think the play's touched a lot of people because it's the true story of you and your wife? Well, I think people like to see a play they can relate to. The widower hasn't been with a woman since the death of his wife. Are you expecting us to believe that's true of you? A guy like you with those lashes? <laughs> Let, let's just say I think I, my memories will last me a long time. Are you telling me you never plan to remarry? <laughs> Well, now, that depends, of course, if the right woman were to... Miss Fine! <laughs> Ignore her. She is just the nanny. Any of you have children? Because we're letting her go. That's your nanny? Hi. I saw you at the Tonys. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks. So, you took the whole household. <laughs> hey, how about a picture? Oh, I don't really think it's appropriate. Get me from the left, honey. <laughs> Conference, not Ava Perone on the Rainbow Tour. Oh. <laughs> this is Maxwell's moment. <clears throat> Get out of my light. <laughs> well, Maxwell, this is drip. No, no, Cece, it's all right. The children understand it's a lie. Oh, well, Margaret was a little I upset. I don't give a rat's but... butt about them. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket sales came to a screeching halt because of this rag. Hmm? Broadway's grieving widower can't keep his pants on? <laughs> Look unbelievable in this shot. Oh, this is too much. Does this, this, this journalist have any idea what he's doing to people's lives? I'm going right down there now. Oh, and what are you gonna do? Punch him out? Violence never solves anything. Besides, what do you care what the whole world thinks? 40-year-old nanny! I want his blood! <laughs> How can you hurt someone like this, hmm? How can you destroy someone's reputation? Yeah, 40? <laughs> Where do you come up with this garbage? I do a lot of research. See that? Yeah. Apple bears amazing resemblance to late funny man Red Fox. <laughs> do you have any idea how much pain you've caused me and my family? Yes. Don't you care who you hurt? No. <laughs> Look, I'm warning you, if you don't stop this scurrilous assault right now, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Oh, jeez, I've never been sued before. I'm scared. <laughs> Come on, Miss Fine. This man obviously has no conscience or remorse. Let's yeah. go. Hey, pal, look, I'm not forcing six-year-old Malaysians to make sequin jackets. <laughs> I write for a tabloid. I make up stuff only an idiot would believe. <gasps> John John's getting a divorce? <laughs> Miss Fine. Sorry. Look, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> I'll never write another word about either one of you again. Well, thank you. You see, you gotta open up a mouth in this world. We appealed to his decency and uh, convinced him to stop. Well, that and the fact that it was the worst selling issue in five years. <laughs> it serves him what? <laughs> Lay there like a lox. Are you telling me? That the hunk producer and the naughty nanny didn't fly off the stands? Stinko, a bomb. We were embarrassed. <laughs> we're going back to Princess Di. She sells beautiful. I don't understand why no one wanted to read about us. Oh, you don't know how to market us. That's your problem, mister. You gotta appeal to the younger demographic. It was the 40 that killed us. <laughs> hey, guys, it's over. You're Dollsville. Oh. Dallsville? <laughs> you want to see hot? You want to see steamy? Get over here, naughty nanny. <laughs> Is he looking at us? Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> fine. He's just turned off the light. He's developing the film. 